Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy the Cali Texan and we are here with the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you guys all the new Valentine's Day stuff coming out, okay? Hold on. A cute little bouquet with the hearts. Comes in like a peach and a red color. Oh. Ben, say hi. Hi. Oh, look at the little gnome houses. They have like the ice cream, the donut, the cupcake. This is actually really cute too. The little teapot. The little ice cream truck. Okay, let's see. This is all the plus side. So this stuff is like $5, $3. Love stories, love notes. Those are cute for $3. Love letters. The flower reef is pretty for $5. Very pretty. We got the gnomes down there. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six different ones. $5. The little birds is adorable. They got the pink truck with the balloons in the back for $5. They have it in red too. Um, XOXO, galvanized burlap wood. Love you and me. There's a little wooden box. This is so cute for $3. Very cute decor. Comes in red and light pink. Depends on the toy section. What'd you find? Some new cars? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, those. those are nice. Yeah, I that both of those. Say hi, Nolan. Hi. Any pink ones? Yeah. Mommy, let me pick your car. For you, Mommy. Mm, what is this? These are actually really cool. The final faction. Mm. Right. Here's the bad guy. Yeah. For a dollar twenty-five, not bad. The Hot Wheel trucks. Let's look on the next side, Ben. Come on. You have what you wanted. Okay, let's check it out. Ben, come on. Oh look, the plus side has the little slippers for five dollars. The sock type or the kind you slip on. Yeah, let's let's show them the new toys that came out. What are these? Which one will you get? Surprises, little little packs of cards. Fossil dust for the bathtub. It's like a bath bomb crushed up. That's cute if you're doing like a whole Jurassic Park theme. You can find lots of cute stuff for it here. Mm. Let's see. What is that? There's a mosquito. Yeah. Ah! Hey, it's on me. Get it off, Ben. Okay, we'll get it. Put it um back where it, it goes. I eliminate it. Mm. Oh look, you got stitch. He's new. There's a few different stitches. Let's see what are these guys? Little robots. Little skateboards. Oh, look at this. Look at she's gold and black. Home, Kiki, we bought please? this one for Ben, but his leg, her leg fell off, huh, Ben? <laughs> you got some tops to spin around. Oh, let's look at these. I like looking at the little characters. Look, this one's new. Super Pets. Look at Pluto on the skateboard. That one's new. Haven't seen that one. Minions, He-Man, PJ Mask. Oh my gosh. Ren and Sti Stimpy. You got a bunch of super pets there. Transformers. Another super pet. That one's a pig. 
Another Transformers. Look at Ben. He loves those little cars, but they do break very easily. But he loves them. But usually the buttons get pushed in and then they stop working. These are some nice baskets for $3. Look how big they are. If you're getting into the whole organization thing, like some of you are, New Year, time to organize. Like Jurassic Park puzzles. Little monster trucks from Hot Wheels. Mm. You solved the Rubik's Cube, Nolan? Yeah. They have these little activity sets. It's like um, all the princess. Here's one for Spider-Man. These might be good to keep in the car for road trips. Look. Surprises, little blind bags. You got Barbie, you got the princess. What is this? Jungle fantasy. Little ponies. Check the toy aisle. What is this? Squeeze and pop. That looks fun. Little squishy pals. These are also really good to keep in the car for car rides. Surf up, surfy summer trivia. That's fun. You got the shark one. Say it again game. Oh look, these are different type of 3D puzzles, the dinosaurs. Hmm? I'm trying to find word bad guy ninin. Bad guy ninin? Yeah. Oh look, these are cute. You got the bunny, you got the leopard, and then the black kitty cat. Ben, come here. There's the little packs of clothes for them, for the little dolls. That's new. You got the bathtub with the little rubber duckies for your doll. Look, LOL bath bombs, super cute. Glam pack, you get a surprise piece of jewelry in there, that's fun. Oh yeah, look how cute that is. Uh, What are, are these the forever friends? I don't know if these are the forever friends for, for the little outfits right there. Well, the unicorns have a set of two, a baby and a mom. Yeah, put it in the bag. In the basket, not the bag. What is this? I've never seen this before. Oh look, forever friends fashion doll case. This is beautiful. You can fill it up with like the little clothes. You see that, guys? So that's like a little closet that opens up and you can put our stuff inside. That is really neat. Mm, I'm gonna put that one next to there so they can find it with the clothes. Let's see. A little sewing machine. I still like this little Barbie umbrella set. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here's the fashion cases. And then you have little Chelsea backpacks. Um, what are these? The dollhouse activity set. We got, oh, what's this one? High heels, like underwater accessories. And then that traveling case. Let me go find them. Okay, let's see. Here's some of the Valentine's Day cards. Ah, look at that. You mocha life sweet. I mean, you could cover up granddaughter if you like. Mm 
more activities for the kids. Guys, these are also things I haven't seen. Um, you got the stand-up picture frame. It comes in like a, a hexagon and a circle. And then this one would be really cute in a kid's bedroom. Or for Valentine's Day, you could decorate it with pictures of your sweetheart. Um, the little family makes this house a home. There's no place like home. Um, these also hold pictures. Home and love. We got like the black and white buffalo check, red and black buffalo check. Let's go see what's over here. Love lives here. Home sweet home. The laundry and bathroom signs. Come here, Ben. Here's for your puppy. Dog mom love. Home is where my cat is. Come here, Ben. Okay, guys, we're back on the Valentine's Day stuff. Look at this. You get four of the hearts for a dollar twenty-five. Mm, little frosted bags. These are great for the hot cocoa bar. Look how pretty these are. And then they have the drizzle. So you can make a charcuterie board with those rods. Mm. Oh, look, you could do the drizzled popcorn with the drizzled rods. They look really pretty on a board. Pink kisses. Um, what's on this side? Look at the little yeah. necker cups are back. Daddy. You can put your yogurt, granola, fruit on top. Mm. Overnight oats. Ben, Ben, put that down. No, I don't want to eat in your food. Okay, guys, so they have the fortune cookies, the little silicone molds. Um, happy Valentine's, being my Valentine. They got the, the oh, flutes. They got these um, gumball machines. They look a little bit different, a little bigger this year. But look at these coffee cups. How cute are those? So they have the pink ones and then the red ones. And you get five cups of five um these things and then five lids and then look look at the big buckets you could do popcorn night you could do candy you could fill it with flowers like it's so so pretty and then they have the plastic ones um you also get two very cute on a table set up you get the cute little trays Look, I would give one to my dog for Valentine's Day. A little cupcake. Here's some of the boxes, mailboxes. Here's a look at the little sacks. Uh, oh, look. They got the little heart headbands. Hmm. Oh. Let me get some of these. Thank you, Nolan. Look at the measuring cups. How pretty are those? Date night. The little trucks everyone was DIYing last year. But this looks new. Look at these little kissing booths. And then they have the socks too. Guys, here's some garlands. They have red and pink, and then pink and red separately. They have these little paper flowers, sticky paper flowers. They have these little rose clips, the roses. Um, they have tinsel garland. 
They have the little hearts on the sticks. Um, this I've never seen before. It's like a lace ribbon. And then they have the pink and red ornaments, little table scatter. They have um, all the different lights. Look at the little gnome picks. Those are cute. Um, white, red, and then a light pink. Super adorable. Um, the little mailbox, the little envelope. This is like a bouquet of, of tinsel. The little wooden hearts. Um, here's a look at the big signs. The little ornaments, the little pens, the little picks would be cute on a on a table with hors d'oeuvres. Um, here's a look at the ribbon. You're my person. And then they have like the velvet um, ribbon. Let's see. The mesh. Here's the little ribbon. And here's some stickers. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you guys are being productive. Um, working on your goals. Working on... You know, sit down and relax and take some time to think about this year and everything you've accomplished. Think about things you want to accomplish and where you need to be to get there. The steps you need to take in order to accomplish your bigger goal that you may have. Um, as long as you're being productive and progressive each day, um, little changes, little habits that you change, little little steps you take ultimately and in positivity and the bigger goal like they're all going towards your bigger goal so let's take time this week uh new year's eve is tomorrow so whatever you do have fun but really take time to reflect on yourself things you have accomplished you know give yourself some credit and think about what you want to accomplish maybe some things that you didn't quite get to your goal Maybe things you can improve on to get there. Um, just take time for yourself and really reflect, okay? Um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my little walk through Dollar Tree. Lots of cute Valentine's Day stuff coming in. Uh, let me show you. They did have 50% off of Christmas stuff, but I didn't find too many items worth picking up. Um, but there was, a, I even thought about getting some of the paper plates, the, the snowman paper plates just to have in stock in the house, but I I decided against it. Hey, I'm open that. Wait, say hi. No. Ben already opened this, but he did get these two cars. So this is this one. A very pretty color. I don't know what kind it is, but they ripped off. Oh, it's a Ford Capri. Yeah, Ford Capri. Ford Capri. Good pick, Ben. And then he got this one and this is a Ford Custom 300 and then this one he threw the wrapper away but it it says Subaru SVX and it has it's like a like a glittery black like really pretty black and it has the gold rims um, very nice sports car that's the little spoiler back here. Like a very well detailed car. They even got like, you know, like some of the race cars have like this little shade bar right there. You see that? See how it's thicker up here? Like a little darkened shade. And let's see. Very nice. All It looks like it has racer seats inside. So they really did like a lot of detail on these Hot Wheels. I'm always impressed with them. And like even has like the windshield wiper back here. Like that is super cool, right? Okay, come here, Ben. So we got those. Bring those over here, Ben. And then I got two packs of these. He actually took one right now. He doesn't understand they're for tomorrow. I need to show them what it is. 
So it's two poppers. It's a so pack of two. And don't let it do. I guess you pull it and then pff, all the confetti flies out. So I got these. They're two pack, which is great because there's three kids and they can each get one. I could pop one if I want or, you know, anyone can pop them. But there are two pack of poppers for $1.25. And that's everything that I guess is inside. So we have two of these, but he took one somewhere. So let me jump in. Okay. They did have another design. Oh my gosh, I picked a broken one. Maybe I could just paint a little white or put a sticker or something on this little bar right here. But it's a very cute, perfect for a cheer tray. It's a little kissing booth. It says a dollar kiss and has the little banner. Uh, and then the little kisses, a heart. Oh, you know what I bet? I bet it had a heart, another one right here and it probably came off in the bag. That's an easy fix. But yeah, this is the design I chose. You can even put a picture if you're a couple of like you and your boyfriend, that'd be really cute. Um, you and your girlfriend or, you know, whatever. It would be really cute, like a picture frame, just to put it in the back of the kissing booth. But yeah, I think I'm going to put that in my tear tray. Then, last year they had these. I don't know if they're the same ones. I think they're the same, but to me they look very high quality and they are very heavy. So I didn't get them last year and I kind of was mad at myself. But this year I scooped them up and I don't know if there's a fourth one. Usually they do things in four, but I only seen these three, the houses. So let's see if I could do this. We have these three. Okay. So let's start with the light pink. It says home is where the heart is. And then it has like the wood across the barn. They're beautiful individually, but they're very pretty all together. And you could put them like above your fireplace. You could put them on a shelf. You could put them um, on your, your headboard behind your bed. You could put them in your kitchen. Like these are so pretty. You could put one in the bathroom. You could get like set up a tray and put them on the tray. So this is the pink one, right? Very cute colors. So we got that one. And then here's the darker red. It's like a red lipstick color. So this one says, home is wherever I'm with you. I think this one's my favorite. Okay, so then we got that one. And then we got this white one it says love lives here and this one's great to you can probably keep this i guess you can keep them out all year long because they don't scream valentine's day they just look like something pretty so those are the three i found let me know if you have these if they're the same ones from last year let me know if there's a fourth one um and then this was the first time I've ever seen Dollar Tree do something like this. I thought this was a super cute idea. And it comes with the set of four measuring cups. Now this came in red or pink and I just got the light pink ones. But how cute is this? You can leave this up all year long if you wanted to. And you can, it'll look cute hanging in your kitchen. Did I play right now? No, where's the other two? There, there's nowhere. Oh, nowhere, huh? And then this I found, I was super excited about these paper cups. You get a set of five, and these will look adorable in your hot cocoa bar. Because I know people are taking down their Christmas items, but it's still cold outside. You can still have your hot cocoa bar or your coffee bar and just switch it out for Valentine's Day stuff instead of Christmas stuff. But how cute are these cups? Let me open them and show you like the full effect. And you get five, five paper cups. So that was new. 
So it has the sleeve and here's the cup. How cute is that? I love it. You can do a coffee bar um, for Valentine's Day, set it out for your friends. Very, very pretty. There was another one with pink and gold hearts, but I chose this one. And then here's the sleeve. It just says love. And you don't have to use these for hot cocoa or coffee. You can use these honestly for whatever you want to take a drink in the car, take it to go, take it for a walk while you go walk your dog. Um, whatever you want to put in here. You don't have to just use it for coffee or hot cocoa or tea. And it comes with a little lid, like perfect. Really, really like those. Okay, so next I found this four pack of Reese's and I don't know if this is like a great deal, it's $1.25, but I do know the grocery store sells like the individual hearts. I don't know if they're the same size. There's, a, there's my disclaimer, right? A little disclaimer. I mean, they do look a little skinny, but the, the grocery store sells these, maybe they're a little bigger hearts and they're like 85 cents to $1.25 for one. So you get four of these little Reese hearts. That is like fantastic to me. Look, you can even like fill up a cup with candy and throw a $5 Starbucks gift card in there and give this to, as a teacher gift. Like that would be super cute. Yeah, you could totally do that. Okay, so brand name candy though. It's, it's not like the cheaper brand candy, it's Reese's. So that's great to find brand new candy. Now, even found these um, for tomorrow for New Year's Eve. And most likely we'll just be at home doing our own celebration at home. We might build a clubhouse and have movies and snacks. I don't know yet, but they come two green, two gold and two purple. They are the Mardi Gras colors. I guess Mardi Gras is in February, right? So he liked it because it has like the Joker. And Joker is actually green and purple anyway. So. so the kids could wear it or we could decorate with it. I don't know. We could do something fun with that. Okay. This one, I was over the moon with these. I fell in love with these. Like how cute to have these for Valentine's Day. It's the B color brand and look at the nails. They're like a nude color with a little pink heart on them. And I have nail glue so I can just glue them on and then my nails will look so pretty for Valentine's Day. See, see her? So I was excited about that. I thought that was very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Got that. Got that. Let's see what else we got. We're just getting a bunch of stuff. Okay, so then I did scoop up two packs of these. You get two in them for $1.25. I was hoping for another color combination, but they only had these. So we're going to have to write our names with permanent markers. I'm trying to organize the bathroom and keep our toothbrushes clean from now on. So I think this will be great, especially if you travel too. These are great for traveling. Um, and you don't have to use these for toothbrushes. You could put like your eyeliner pencils in here or like skinny makeup brushes for your eyeshadows. You can put, you know, toothbrushes of course. You could put tampons in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I mean, you can use this for a lot of different things. You could put like a pencil, some colored pencils in here for the car ride. Um, you know, different things. If you travel, like these are great for, it says great for traveling purses and briefcases. Um, convenient for packing in all your bags. So it doesn't list what you can use it for. Let me know if you have any other ideas 
of what you would put in these besides toothbrushes. <coughs> Gosh, we're all kind of sick right now. I got this one for Frankie. This is the Reach brand and it says Crystal Clean. And his comes with this little case so he could keep his toothbrush clean with that little cover. Okay, let me show you guys some more fun stuff. I did, I fell in love with this set of window clings because I actually like really adore that truck. I think the truck is so pretty. I know some people are like already over the truck, but I just love the little red truck. Like it is so pretty to me. So this is, it says, hello, beautiful. You could keep that on your mirror and your vanity like all year long. And when you need a, a confidence booster, just go look in your mirror and read like, hello, beautiful. I'm like, okay, I got this. Like you got this girl. Give yourself a pep talk and then you're good to, you're good to go. Or you can craft with these. I know a lot of crafters love these and they do these in their junk journaling. You can put them in your planner if you plan. Um, you know, a lot of people get really into their planner and they decorate it. You could decorate it for Valentine's Day or for your anniversary or, you know, different things. You can just put the hearts wherever you want the whole month of February. Um, Mother's Day, like whatever you want. The day you're going to get married, you could put a bunch of little white hearts all over the page or, you know, whatever you want. I like to put them in the mirrors, in the bathrooms, um, especially in the kids' bathroom. Just put a little something cute up there. Let's see. And then I got this. This one I thought was so beautiful. And it's pretty big. Like, look how big it is. So look at the detail on this red truck. Do you see how they added the shine where the sun's hitting it? And it has like the wood basket. Like it's such a cute sign. And it looks like it's done on shiplap and then it has the galvanized trim. Um, and it says loads of love. Like how cute is that saying? So I have this. I don't know where I'm gonna hang it, but I just think this is such a pretty sign. Happy Valentine's Day with the red truck. So that'll be going up somewhere. Look, it even fits right there on the little shelf. Maybe that'll be our new background for next video. And then I found, okay, this is pretty all on its own. This has like a little farmhouse vibe to it, like very pretty. The shiplap is a little horrid, it's vert diagonal yeah it's diagonal and then the galvanized you and me the burlap ribbon like this is just a pretty heart all together right like it's just pretty for a dollar 25 it's really big but i had another great idea they also have these which is a little bit smaller they came in red white and pink now just just bear with me okay bear with me real fast we're gonna update it Okay, so check it out, okay? Look how much prettier it looks now. It's a three layer instead of two layer. Or you could take this off and just put it on the red heart. But gosh, it looks to me, all three of them together look so pretty. Or you can disassemble it and have three separate hearts if you wanted. But that is what I plan to do to make it three. I think that'll look so pretty. Okay. But again, this is pretty all by itself. Okay. And then... I was excited to find these because last year I got the yarn and I've seen a lot of crafters on YouTube. They, they DIY these. So you can hang these on your tree. You can make a garland. 
You can um, fill them with candy and put them on the table. You can fill them with lights, the little fairy lights. And I mean, there's so many things you could do with these. But last year, what I saw and I wanted to do, they hot glued yarn around the hearts, right? And then you had like a perfect yarn heart. And then they had like a bowl or a tray and then they just put the yarn hearts inside. Or you can yarn them up and then make a garland of the yarn hearts. Like that'll look pretty too. So I have the yarn from last year and then I didn't buy those because they ran out and then I couldn't find them. So now I can do that little DIY and I'd be happy to show you guys what I come up with. I mean, it's not like what I came up with. I didn't like create it. I'm, you know, using someone's idea. I just, you know, I'll show you how I make mine. And then this I thought was adorable. If you're a teacher and you have a class, Valentine's Day, I know usually you guys have parties. Um, sorry, if you're having a party at home or want something cute to do with the kids, this is adorable. They had different designs. This is bingo for Valentine's Day. I mean, you could do like a $5 cash, like whatever you want. Or you could cut this up and craft with it, right? You can craft with the little squares and then it comes with like little circle tokens. This is so, so cute, right? So I, I scooped this one out. And they had different designs, but I, I like this one. I thought it was so cute. But a problem I have with games like this, once it's open and I wanna clean up, like what do you do with it? Because this is just like a plastic bag, right? So I got the great idea. They had these two packs of these little burlap sacks and it's actually the perfect size. And you can even give this as a gift. Like, check it out. So I thought this would be the perfect cleanup when we're all done. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look, it fits in the little sock. So you can clean up the game and then keep all your pieces and cards together in one little bag for next year. Or if you're going to an Airbnb or a hotel or a road trip, like there you go. Just take your little sock and you're ready. And then look, it's flat. It could like, you could stack it with your games or you can, when you're ready to pack it away, there you go. Or you can like give this to someone as a gift. This is super adorable. And now I have an extra bag to do whatever I want with. Or you can fill this up and make it like a little pillow, like a little pillow for the couch or a tear tray. Like this is really cute. You can put like, if you're gifting someone some Victoria's Secret, fill it up with some panties, gift card to Victoria's Secret, um, put some candy in here, like whatever you want. Put uh, the pack of Starbucks coffee or something, I don't know. What would you guys do with this? I was excited that the game fit perfectly in there. That's what I'm so happy about that one. Okay, now let me show you the little towels. The towels are adorable. This is like my favorite set of towels so far. I almost bought all four. There's four designs, but I bought three out of the four. Okay, they're the little flower sack towels. Do you see this? Like, first of all, look at the pink stripes on the back and the red and pink polka dots. Super adorable. Next, it says, there's nobody like you. What? And it's a boy and a girl gnome exchanging valentines. Like, how cute is that? Adorable. So that's the first one I grabbed. And then this one, I love what it says. Ready? Are you guys ready? I'm on my way to steal your heart. Stop it, Dollar Tree. Just stop it right now. And it has the red and white gingham at the bottom. How perfect is this? 
Look, it even has like the heart headlights. Like what? That is so cute that they added that. They didn't just use the same old truck. And they have the different patterns in the trunk. Okay, so that's number two. And then this one is equally adorable. You ready for this one? Look at that bicycle with the basket. And the basket's full of hearts, different patterns. Look at that bike. And at the bottom, it's like the red and pink stripes. And will you be my Valentine? How beautiful is this? And if you don't want to use it as a towel, because like, I like to hang it from my stove and then it just looks really pretty there in the kitchen. I mean, you can hang it in your bathroom if you want. You can, if you're really crafty, you can make this into a little pillow as well. If you could sew it, like open it up and make it a pillow. You can cut it out and craft with it in, in your junk journal, like whatever you want. The bike, the truck, and the gnomes. Super adorable. Or you can make a gift basket and put one of these inside the gift basket. Super, super cute. Okay, so I think this was my favorite item was the towel. Let me know what's your favorite item that I have showed you today. Um, let me know what's on your, your shopping list or what you want to be on the lookout for. Um, these are also another great find. Um, I mean, everything was so cute. And they were still had boxes and boxes of stuff that they were opening up. So this is not everything. You will see other things. Um, what are these lights? Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got some furry lights in, in here. So they're little pink gems. You see that? And you get 10 lights. So that's what they look like. Almost like a flower, but they're like little gems. And this you can leave up like all year long in your vanity or your teenager's room. Like she could look a little bougie, that's okay. Um, so there's that one. Oh, they're the same. I got two of these, so that is that. And I have one more item to show you. This I found at Sam's Club on, well, Clarence, it says 681. Let me show you this beautiful sweater. It is like the softest material I've ever felt. It's not itchy. And it's a cardigan, look. It buttons up. And then there's one red Christmas tree. I got it a little oversized because I want it to be a little loose. And then next Christmas, hopefully I'm a, a size smaller. If you know what I mean? So yeah, I thought this was so beautiful. I had to get it. Um, I almost put it back, but then I said, no, just get yourself a sweater. So this is like this chick on there. And it was $6.81. Regular $18 at Sam's Club and it's down to $6.81. So I got that for myself. And I could, I'm packing up my stuff right now. I could literally pack it away right now. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope it wasn't too long for you. Um, I most likely am gonna connect it with the walkthrough. And uh, we'll see. It might be two separate videos. But if that's it, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Give your girl a big thumbs up. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely, safe, happy New Year's to everybody. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right? Bye, guys.